the check-in. <laughs> One down, three to go. You guys, my nine o'clock with enough time to um, do some before and afters. She wiped it in with the room sanitized. She is actually on the M stop right now. I'm done in the pants here. And then, um, we'll wait for day number two to come in. Nah, you guys, client two to go. And it's 12 12. I'm not gonna say I didn't know, but I forgot that the, the one, the 11 o'clock client rotates from thighs to abdomen, thighs to abdomen. So it was perfect timing because um, she was just getting abdomen, and that takes way less time than thighs, obviously, bigger area. Two of them, more work etc etc so that worked out perfectly she was in and out in an hour now i am just cleaning up the room um getting ready for the one o'clock which is a sauna bag session so i'm gonna do that with you guys i keep my sauna bag under the table here i fold it up all nice and neat just pull it out whenever I need it. unfold it because what ends up happening is the heat will get trapped in these folds and it will catch fire it'll start smoking don't ask me how i know that i know okay so don't do that so fold it back while you're setting it up and then um, um unfold it I'm just gonna wipe that down. Even the last time I used it, I sanitized it, but it's been under the bed. We're playing well, they're plastic liners in the sauna bag because people sweat, bodily fluids, and obviously you don't want to be passing that bodily fluids around. Even though I sanitize it every single time, it's just more sanitary to line it. So I ordered these on the Amazon. I don't know, it's like a pack of them, um, maybe 50, and they last however long. Um, put that in the blanket, so I leave this side closed. And then I open the side that they're going to get in on, right? Knows what that entails. So just in case she doesn't, we will put out a disposable bra and underwear. Because usually in sauna they sweat a lot and you don't want their the underwear and that they come in with getting wet, you know, then they have to go out like that. So I always provide this. If they don't want it, they don't wear it, that's fine. I they always have the option. I want my clients to feel comfortable. So whatever works for them works for me. We work around it. And I'm gonna go ahead and zip this side up now. My bag um, controller. Go ahead and plug it back in. And I'm gonna turn on some music right now. Cause I need to pick me up. Getting ready to wrap plan number three. Set up for last one, number four. She'll be here any minute. See, I mean, it's a whole process. 
10. I just got done with the Yeso wrap. It's drying. Room set up for last client. And as soon as that dries, maybe like five minutes, I'm gonna wrap her in some osmotic wrap and send her out her on her way. You guys, the day went no complaints. Nobody was late. Nobody was canceled. Nobody came in expecting more than what they booked. It was one, it was actually a really good day. Hey y'all. All right, so thank you so much for spending the day with me. It's 4.30. <sighs> no, it's four, it's four o'clock. 2.30 client left at, I got her done at 3.45. So it was perfect timing to uh, get out of here by four. 410 i'm out of here no thank you guys so much um you guys i might record um sf holiday if i'm up to it tomorrow if not i'll see you on the next one get it right